Every once in a while, Isle TV has the great honor of sitting down with some of the most influential musicians in Israeli history. Today, I'm so excited to be sitting here with Alon Olierchik, one of the first Israelis to introduce Middle Eastern rhythms and beats to an international platform. Alon was part of Kaveret, one of Israel's most famous and popular rock groups to date, and has had a long and successful career as a solo recording artist worldwide. Here's a taste of his musical magic. Alon, thank you so much for coming in. So I understand you're about to go on a big tour in the United States. How are you feeling? Are you excited? By the way, that was an incredible introduction. I don't know. Yeah. I'm scared from it. Yeah. No, um, no, don't be scared. Okay. I'm sure that you're, I mean, just listening to the music, I didn't need to say anything, you know? Okay, thank you. Um, I'm in the middle of a, um, a tour here in Israel now uh, with that, that celebrates 30 years of solo career, whatever that means. And uh, suddenly in the middle of that tour, there's, a, there's a, an American tour of four shows. Yeah, we're starting like in a few days and I'm, we're going. How are you I feeling about visa it? Yet. Oh, you still have to get your yes. visa. Uh-oh. Yes. No, I'm sure you're not going to have I'm a very problem. excited because my band is with me. Uh, they are incredible musicians. Uh, I don't know if anybody would know their names, but uh, they're with me for quite a few years. And uh, a lot of energy, a lot of basically happiness on stage. So that's what I'm doing now. And, you know, what is it like for you to perform for Americans? This isn't your first time, obviously, but is it different than performing for Israelis? <clears throat> uh, it's, it's different every time I go there. If I'm a part of a bigger group or another group, then, then it's a different deal. Uh, I don't know. It'll be exciting. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to have to speak Hebrew or English or explain about the songs or do, uh, I don't know, step dance on, on the stage or something. Uh, but it's very exciting. I am um, looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, one of the most amazing things about being an Israeli performer going abroad is that, you know, you're almost a representative of the country. Do you take that role? I mean, do you, do you view yourself as an ambassador for Israel? Basically, you have to be like, you know, people ask you about the, what Israel does uh, when you're abroad. I'm, I'm uh, like left when I'm here and I'm right wing when I'm somewhere else because I have to justify uh, Israel to everyone. I, I know that feeling. I used to live in the States for eight years in the past and, uh, and I had to be an advocate of Israel. You have to be. Uh, otherwise, it's like weird. Yeah, well, I mean, I also think just being a musician in of itself, your advocacy is your music. It's not just talking all the time. You know, people hear it and it's like, oh, there's music in Israel, not just yeah. a conflict. I, I'm thankful for that, 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 you know, I can do music and I, I'm able to sing and play and yeah, write music absolutely. instead of doing other things like talking about Israel. Yeah, exactly. Like we do every day here. Now, let's talk a little bit about your career. Uh, you've had lots of success, clearly, like I said before, and we can see in the video. But what was, in your opinion, one of your most inspiring or incredible moments that you've experienced? Uh, uh, the birth of my granddaughter 10 months ago, I guess. Really? I have, I have a granddaughter, yeah. So it your granddaughter, great. I mean, that's not even related to music. That's just, but it's probably been a huge inspiration, no? It's, it's the latest inspiration, latest big thing that happened in my life, you know, that, that birth. And my daughter gave birth to a granddaughter. Uh, Career-wise, um, when I, like, it was in 1984 or 5 when I, when I discovered I could actually um, write songs and sing them. Uh, as a solo artist, that was after the band you mentioned before, Kaveret, uh, and people liked it. People liked, I was on the radio and people liked what I was doing and I was like, 
I was 34 years old and I, when I started singing solo songs, you know. So that was quite a shock and uh, very exciting. And I'm, I've been doing this uh, since then until today. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, there's nothing like getting a positive reaction from, you know, thousands of people. I mean, you were... Yeah, and to well, be doing that any, on your any own. reaction, you know, there are so many artists, so many songs, so many songs a week, a day, new songs, new things, new uh, bands, new singers, you know. So it's like when when someone, you know, discovers you, that's a fantastic feeling. Absolutely. Now, uh, you were originally born in Wa in Warsaw, Poland. Yes. Um, and your father was a <clears throat> musician himself, or he, he wrote songs. Now, did this Polish identity of yours have an influence on your music in any way? Uh, I believe, uh, I remember my when I was a, like a baby, I was three, four years, five years old. We, we left Poland when I was uh, seven years old and we came to Israel. And we had a, a, a grand piano in the living room. My father used to uh, write melodies for lyrics on that piano. And I was like listening how, how he was doing it, you know, like uh, playing a phrase over and over again or trying different, different phrases for the same lyrics, right. like, like little musical sentences, you know, that's really exciting. It's like, it's like the anatomy of how to write songs. And I think that that was a big influence on me just I didn't want to be influenced it just happened you know something from childhood my father used to write songs and I learned from him how to write songs so absolutely it was a transition difficult coming to Israel I mean at, at seven years old you're still young but you already know you know Polish is your language and uh, yeah well, well as a seven year old kid it doesn't really matter that much you, you have dif your difficulties with you know it's, you're you're an, an immigrant basically, right? But it takes a couple of years, and then you you with other kids, and and you're fine. My parents had a had a uh, you know a, um, what do you call it a cultural uh, shock shock you know like like all immigrants they never recovered from it really. They still you know they had their, their accents their Polish and Russian accents in Hebrew that didn't help much you know. I, so here's so. my question for you. You know, you, you play a number of different in instruments. You sing, you write, you act, you do everything. What advice would you give to others on how to live their life to the fullest, not just about music? Wow. Uh, well, I guess I'm old enough to be able to answer that question. Um, Accomplished enough. <laughs> <laughs> try, to, try to find something that you, you feel comfortable with, that you like. Try, it's, it's, I didn't invent this advice it just find your passion and and go for it and don't 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 uh, stop going for it and whatever it is and uh, and and you'll be happy so relatively happy that is absolutely not, not happiness is not up to you totally because there's this the other things around you called the world that can make you unhappy but uh, you could help by fi finding your passion and you could find your passion when you were like 30 or, you know, you do, it doesn't have to be when you were like 12. You, you don't know what you're going to be when you're 12. Absolutely. Well, so my final question for you is, I know that we're going to see you in the U.S. What cities are you going to be performing Los in? Los Angeles, uh, Palo Alto, uh, Boston, and New York. Okay, great. So, for everybody to know, if you're interested in seeing Alon Olealchik perform in his upcoming U.S. tour, visit Teve.com to buy tickets, and you should because he's amazing. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha.